He gave me a freaking lolly for his chip tooth, a hard lolly, and a plaster for the inside of his mouth. What a But he, again, you can't say that That's word. That's like saying the word idiot. Is it not? No. No, I'm not saying the S word. That. Well, do you want me to say it? No, don't say it. <laughs> Shh, don't tell mum. Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to Shh, don't, don't Tell Mum. Mom. My name is Barney. And I'm Jamie. And this is the number one parenting podcast in the world. Don't Google that. Yes, we hit it. <laughs> Second time, but let's not worry about that. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm all right. Our tube journey here was was actually pretty smooth. It wasn't as smooth last time. No, it wasn't. It was, we were waiting for a very long time. Um, but I tell you what hasn't been smooth. Rocket hasn't been no. smooth. He slept until 6.30 today, which is a yeah. first. That is true. Hasn't done that he's, in a while. Um, yeah, a bit of a tummy ache at the moment. We think he's probably picked something up at at school, at nursery, mm -hmm. which they do all the time. And we're literally coming into like autumn slash winter season and it's going to just pop off again. Hopefully it's not as bad as last year because he was really little last year. This year, I feel like he's more robust, well, isn't he? last year he got hand, foot and mouth. Last week he had some spots. So we pulled him out of nursery because they thought he had chicken pox at the start of it. Didn't have chicken pox. And then um, this morning, no, well, last night he had about seven diaries in the space of two hours. It was... Yeah. It was interesting. That was fun times, yeah, wasn't it, was, it? It was great. Um, we thought last night was going to be carnage. We thought we weren't going to sleep. Mm -hmm. We thought it was just going to be absolutely we dreadful. And luckily, he kind of, once he was out, he was out until half six. So I feel fresh. Me too. Do you feel fresh? Yeah. Good. I mean, kind of. Time Good of work. the month. Uh, yeah. So, I feel, uh, feel a little bit sensitive right now. We might get into an argument on this podcast. I really apologize to everybody here listening. Including me? Babe, I've already shattered you like six times. I this know. Thank God you've said it. Because oh. I, yeah, okay. Let's let's rewind to Rocket. <laughs> what is new with Rocket? He's, He's missing half a front tooth. Oh so my! So what happened in the last week? God. Right? Oh, we took him to. Um, um, uh, <clears throat> I took him to uh, Port Limp which is an amazing safari park in Kent, right? So we go to Port Limp. It's absolutely amazing. We're having a great time with a bunch of friends. Jamie couldn't make it because she had to go and get a passport renewal, blah, blah, whatever, admin. We're sat in this giant truck, this giant like Jeep that drives you around the safari park. It's a bit like Longleat if you've ever been there, but you go in their car. You're not allowed to drive around on your own. Amazing stuff. We park, we finish, we get to the end of the safari and everything's great. And Rocket has been having these like zoomy moments as we've spoken about on our Instagram and our TikTok. If you've been watching any of them, he has these moments where he has like a burst of adrenaline and he spins and he jumps around. Love and he surge. Has, yeah, it's a bit odd. Well, it's not odd. I suppose everyone gets it. Yeah. Um, he gets this surge of energy and he just throws himself to the right and just ding, like smacks his tooth on metal this bar. metal corner of the side of the truck. Instantly, everyone around us just goes, <gasps> and there's like this pause of, oh my God, what just happened? And he turns to me crying. I, he I like hold mouth, him, open his mouth, blood. half a tooth falls out of his mouth into my hand. And then I get him to bite down on a, a wet wipe and there's his blood all over this wet wipe. And I'm like, oh my God. Then. Then he takes him to the medical center there. Well, it's not medical center. It's, it's like, just like, like a, let's a find someone who knows, you know, who's the, the online first aider is what first they call aider. it. And they give him a chubba chub lollipop and a plaster for his tooth. Nice. Awesome. Great work, first aid at Port Lim. <laughs> you are absolute. <laughs> I couldn't think of a good word to say. <laughs> Don't say that word. Okay, let's cut that section off. You're absolute You're... idiots. He idiots! gave me a freaking lolly for his chip tooth, a hard lolly and a plaster for the inside of his mouth. What a. But he, again. You can't say that That's word. That's like saying the word idiot. Is it not? No. No, I'm not saying the S word. That. Well, do you want me to say it? No, I don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, he's a spanner. What an idiot. So yeah. anyway, he can't, he can't be giving me a first, aid, a first aider that gives me a lollipop and a plaster for a kid's mouth. Oh, you plonk. God. Right. Oh, that's what's new with Rocket. Unfortunately, no, he's got I a chip tooth. I swear there was something else as well. What else happened? With Rocket, you then turned up and I had to tell you and then, what, with him? No, it was fine. That was it. Just a chip tooth. Just an Just average Tuesday. Tooth. Didn't something happen though? What do you mean? There was something that I wanted to say on the podcast, which was really funny that you did or something. I if it was know. really funny, it's probably not from you, babe. <laughs> let's <laughs> be anyway, honest. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway. Just a ch casual chip tooth. That's quite a significant update for Rocket, unfortunately. And it's not a positive one. And now but he has the runs. Yeah. Diarrhea and a chip tooth. Yeah. So TikTok turnoffs for the week, my friend. <laughs> the usual. The usual segment that we love. 
Talk to me about what is turning you off on social media right now, Jamie. Okay, guys, this is when I'm going to bring, bring Britney back. Because, what? Yeah, I'm going to bring Britney back because it's actually what? driving me bad. Britney is turning you off. Um, not her in specifically. I would say her fans like doing the conspiracy theories, saying like she's standing in all the the background. It's a green screen. And it just doesn't make sense, guys. It does not make sense. Also, she's changed her name now to Maria River Red, okay? That's her new, I think it's a porn star name. I'm not so sure because I don't watch porn. Maria River Red but, is Britney's new name. What is, and then I woke up this said, morning. I, I woke up this morning and she was dancing with two knives in her hand. She was. And the dogs. She was. There's dogs behind her and they come into shot and then she's whipping these knives around <laughs> and then the dogs are like, <laughs> <laughs> and then come out of shot. Right, I'm ready for the TikTok turnoffs of everyone coming in going, they weren't real knives. They were, because she even says on the post, go guys, it's Halloween, they're fake knives. I'm looking they at look these real. knives. They look, and she went, I was just in my kitchen. I'm like... We were going to do a Besties with Brit segment later on. We and so were. I had it planned, Have I ruined but it? <laughs> no, you, you just basically jumped the gun, which is fine. So hold on, hold on. So well, let's set aside the fact that we think that she's on some pretty significantly strong drugs, right? At this point, <laughs> meth being possibly one of them. Uh, green screen in the backdrop of her videos. Green screen in the backdrop. And when she's in a different country, the palm trees don't move. So that's apparently another and one. And there's a, a haze around her as well, which is quite significant of showing what, like a pretty budget... Um, green screen effect, which is like when it's hazy around you. Potentially. I don't think this is the case. I just think she's dancing with, everything. Dancing with knives. Dancing with knives. And her name is now Maria River, River Red, Red And she's, on she's media. now purchased a, a pole. What? I think she's put a pole in her house. Yeah. Brittany! <laughs> What is going on? It's How can you like, worse. see this is the problem that I have like with you being such a huge fan of Britney Spears. The like, old Britney Spears. But like she's actually gone mad. She's actually we gone mad. We don't know that. Maybe she just this no, is the no, way no, of no, being no. free. No, 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 no. There's no more excuses. You know? There's no Having more excuses. Free. I'm sorry. I used to hate Kevin Fedline because he seemed like he was just a bit of a money grubbing asshole. Let's be honest. But now I'm almost siding with him because look how mental she is. And she's showing us all how nuts she is. And then she's like, why don't my kids want to see me? And I'm like, this might be why. You're dancing around the kitchen with knives. You're calling yourself by a porn star's name. The dogs don't even want to be around you. And you've got a weird green screen in your house. We are just, pretending you're doing other it's countries. Just the, it's the dog thing when they like scuttle away. I'm just like, oh, it wow. Does, yeah, okay, the one thing I will defend her, she said that like the knives might not be real. The only thing, they do look like those cake things. You know, the ke when they cut a cake? No, but it's they not look a knife. like it, knives. They look like knives. They All look right, like I stand corrected. That's fine. Wow. <laughs> okay, my TikTok turn off for the week. <laughs> okay. Mine is, thanks so much for asking, is uh, <laughs> these drama content creators, okay? And now specifically, I have one example from this week. Okay. okay, this woman gets in her car. She's got a little kid, right? And she makes a YouTube video out of this and a bunch of TikTok, social media, in Instagram, blah, blah. And when she sat in the car, she's talking to camera and she's going, guys, I just got followed around a supermarket by this Hispanic couple. And every aisle I went in, they were in, they were right behind me and they were on the phone. So I decided to stop what I was doing and like put, pretend to be putting shopping in my basket. And I was listening to what the couple was saying and they were describing my baby. So it sounded like they were saying, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, six months what? old to a year old, all this kind of stuff. And so the internet just exploded going, we have to hunt down this couple because this is a child trafficking couple, possibly, who like maybe steal kids, sell them, whatever it is. <gasps> internet goes into absolute disarray. So then this woman creates YouTube after YouTube video about it, replying to people's comments, you discussing what happened. Me. I know. So the police get involved wow. and they talk to the lady. She describes them. They put out an image of the Hispanic couple, like a drawing. Mm -hmm. so people hunt them down mm -hmm. and find out who this couple is and they find them online. The couple then have to make a statement and like uh, make a video on Instagram, socials, whatever, and say, this is couldn't be further from the truth. Like we didn't even know this lady was like watching us walking around the store. We were literally just doing our shopping. Okay, typical ploy for someone who's trying to not be arrested or something. Of course, something. yeah. So then they get the security camera of the f of footage of the actual like, the supermarket Situation. of when yeah, she was yeah. there. They were nowhere near her the entire time. <gasps> she made it up for clout. No, she made up that no. a couple were trying to steal her kid. Wow. 
I hate content creators like that. Not that there's that many of them out there, I don't think, but I hate people yeah, that just, that, just, you know, fakers. we've come into contact with people who, you know, they believe that videos are about them or so topics are about them. And so they kind of, they create this narrative that like, I'm a victim in this situation. Mm. And that kind of boosts their following. I can't be dealing with that. So that's my turn off. Did you, did you get turned off with me talking about when I got hit by a car? When? The last post I did on social media. I didn't get turned off by it. Uh, by you talking because you did actually get hit by a car when you were younger. I know. It's Although when you uh, say you got hit by, there was a few things I missed out detail though that I I was like, oh fuck, I should have said that. But when that. you say you got hit by a car, mm -hmm. by a truck. it sounds like you got hit by a car. I did. <laughs> Hey guys, just going to stop you right here very quickly. We just want to say thank you so much for all of the continued support with the Shush Don't Tell Mum podcast. We have such an amazing time, you know, creating this podcast for you and having amazing guests on as well, don't we, Jamie? And we're halfway through the display. We have half the display. We just need the sofa now. I know we are waiting. On, and we're like, you know, every single time you see an episode, maybe we'll add a little bit more. We're going to have some <laughs> mugs, cushions sofas things like that so we oh, come in thank you for the continued support and if you could leave a five-star review that'd be absolutely amazing because it obviously helps us expand and helps us get better and better guests on each and every episode but yeah you got sideswiped by a wing mirror of a okay. car <laughs> yeah because because leah pulled me back i will show you a photo but right you still now wait got sideswiped by Have you ever seen a wing me mirror the day one of me How, having the accident but what i will say people in the room all right what i will say people watching as well a car doing 40 was miles an there? hour. Was no, he there? Oh, he wasn't there. I'm about to defend Look, you. Look, I'm an 11 year old being hit by a car. My nose had to be rebuilt. My teeth were all gone. Had no teeth. I, also, I was about to defend you, by the way. I don't care. Okay. I also knocked out. They this is the bit people. I didn't, I, I missed out in detail wise. I actually punched the doctor with my broken arm, bearing in mind, when he injected me, because he had to numb the whole yeah, of my yeah. mouth to, to try and save the teeth, right? So he injected me. I obviously just out of sheer pain, grabbed my grabbed the arm, went up and then knocked him out unconscious because I'd already had my cast on. Yeah. Knocked him out. He was on the fucking floor. Knocked him out. Okay, yeah. this is when it's starting to get a bit dramatic. No, now. I did. You're saying you knocked I out did. a doctor I with did. your cast and you were 11 years old. I was old. 11 years old because I was in yeah. that much pain. I just okay. thought we went, Wah! You just hulked out. Yeah, hulked out. <laughs> and then my, my dad came through the door and he burst into tears and they wouldn't show me what I looked like for like a week. Of afterwards. course. Okay, so what I was actually going to defend you saying was I was going to say, even though Jamie got hit in the face by the wing mirror of a car but that I was going past. I had tire marks in my legs. Hold on. Were you I'm there? I'm talking. Go on. <laughs> I was going to say, but being hit by anything at 40 miles an hour it's going to cause significant damage. So the wing mirror slapped you across the face. You went flying. It's this and then big you of went, a wing mirror. Okay, this is, the, this is a Mercedes. It's not a London bus, Benz. Babe. No, it was a Mercedes Benz van. It was a, a white van, a transit van that hit me. Very the savage. blood was on the floor for months afterwards. Months afterwards. We'd always I mean, drive past see, and check the blood. This is where you're starting to lose the viewers right. and you're starting to lose me. Right. Because you're like, you're making it sound you know like what? a crime scene. You know what? Like... And you literally you got hit in the face with a wing mirror. And why, what are you doing? You're calling someone. You're calling your mum, aren't you? No. Calling your dad. Calling my dad. Loudspeaker, right? Yeah, I am. He, he I just, can't hear anything. Oh, there you go. This is live on the podcast. Andre Jackerman, superstar. By the way. Hey, baby. Hello, Daddy. Quick question, Dad. How long was my blood on the side of the road after I was hit by a car? Oh. Um, a long time. They didn't clean it up, did they? Um, a long time. Yeah. A months. I'm trying to tell Barney. He thinks it wasn't serious because I was whipped by I the... I never said it yeah, wasn't by the serious. Windscreen. Was it serious? Uh, uh, no, it was about a couple of months because every time we drove by, there was this big pool of... Blood. Blood. <laughs> I'm not joking. And, uh, yeah, but you were hit by uh, the wing mirror, weren't you? Yeah, that took you up. Well, then I had the um, tie marks on my legs and we never understood why that was. Yeah, no, no, you had tie marks on your on your um, thigh. Yeah, yeah. So you must have spun. Uh, you, it must have hit you in the face, smack on, on with, the, 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 with the van's wing mirror. And then the van, you must have spun and your legs went underneath the car and it rolled over your thigh or scraped along your the thigh. The fact that I didn't even but, break a leg, that's... Absolutely amazing. You really are the Hulk, babe. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. moving on. Okay, Dad, that's it. Thank you so much Andre. for featuring on Shush Don't Tell Mum. We love you. All right, love you too. Bye. He's a ledge. Anyway. 
Anyway. Back to the pod. <laughs> okay, so you've proven us right. Yeah, thank you very or much. wrong. I don't know. You got hit by the car. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thank you. Well done. You survived. Survived. And now you have a son. And was Rocket. that your ick seeing me do that makeup I didn't, tutorial I didn't thing. get icked out by it at all. So I you do said that's get a TikTok turn off. No, people that talk about stuff that didn't exist. Yours existed. You got hit by a car. I know, but you say I exaggerate things. You I do. Cut that but I do out. as well. I exaggerate as well. So everyone does. Right. Can we talk about something that happened earlier last week that uh, is significantly burned into my memory? Because uh, I, I'm. Oh, what have feeling, I done now? I'm feeling a little bit. I don't know, violated is the wrong word, even though you're my partner. It's a bit weird. In the mornings, everyone, I feel like everyone is in the same boat. As a man, I wake up desperate for a pee because I'm old now, oh, Dad, which is fine. Me back. Andre, go away. <laughs> Hang on. Hello? Really? Hello. Um, yeah, you can tell you that when I got to the hospital, um, I walked right past you because I didn't recognize you. You were so badly damaged. <laughs> okay. Okay, Andre. Well, add, <laughs> we'll add that bit in for sure. Thanks, Andre. Um, that's all right. No, I should walk by. I should walk by. Uh, because your face was so swollen and your teeth, you had no teeth in and oh god it was and then I, I walked back and then I heard your mum say Andre and then I went back and then there you were lying in bed uh, half yeah. dead anyway dad I love you I will bye. see you I'll see you later bye right I'm going to airplane mode this now <laughs> he's going to call you for the rest of the morning the worst part is Hamlet Studios we come in and they're like it's cool because each podcast is about 34 minutes this I is think definitely we're not done yeah it's <laughs> definitely not happening Just, oh my goodness right okay so wake up in the morning feeling like he did it in the morning yeah, yeah. Uh, desperate for a peek because I'm old and then um, I had a coffee with yeah. you in bed we <laughs> woke up rocket we gave him a bottle of milk everyone was cool everything was fine I then kind of slide out of bed and go I'm gonna go into the bathroom and now because you know we've got a long established relationship we've been together seven years seven now. years rocket is almost two years old and I'm you know still we're single. established I shut the door you're such a dick I shut the door <laughs> right to the bathroom but I don't lock it do I Jamie I shut the door and I go for a number two what happens when I'm going for a number two? I'm sat there peacefully. This is my moment of peace. This is my, you know, five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes of peace. Sometimes an hour. Right. I'm not kidding you. She comes <laughs> charging in, going to do her makeup. Rocket comes charging in as well. And she just stands there talking to me while I'm wiping my arm. He's mid-wipe, by the way. Tissue in the air. And shit on it. How? Can, okay, you don't need the details, right? <laughs> but... How can you, like, there is no romance in this relationship if this is the scenario. I can't I look go, I can't get past this situation. I don't know. Of how, you standing there talking to me, having a normal conversation, asking me questions while I'm taking a shit. Bearing in mind, okay, we've come up from different upbringings. I came from a naked family. Barney didn't come from a naked family. He came from Most a, people didn't come from a naked family, they Jamie. They did. Most people they did. They did. We are part, we are human. I know. That is our skin. Yes. Right? I was made from mum and dad when they were naked. Makes sense that everyone walks around naked. Just saying. And I'm going to be a naked mum. Anyway, who, whoever's watching this or listening to this, I'd love to know. It's the banksters at gmail.com. That's it's the banks. Are you a naked family? At gmail.com. How do you feel about your partner being in the same room as you going number two? And do you do that? Is it normalized? Or do you feel like that is where the line okay, is okay. drawn? That is my land in the, line in the sand. That is me telling you publicly on a podcast, never come into the bathroom while I'm shitting again. And are you a naked family? And are you a naked family? It's the Bankses at gmail.com. Make sure you send over. And speaking of it's the Bankses at gmail.com, yeah. Jamie Lisa, we got an email. We got an email. About something that we spoke oh my about God, last guys, week. We got an email. The, the episode one and two of season two. We had a, a bit of a hot button topic conversation about leashing your kids. Mm. Do you leash your kids? Do you feel like it's a right thing to do? Do you we feel like we bought the leash? We are, haven't used it yet. You know, do you feel like there are scenarios where leashing your kids, you know, could be a viable option? Mm. Bear with me while I find the email okay, because I thanks. would like to find this email uh, and read it to you from Lydia Sanchez. Thank you very much, Lydia, for sending, thanks, in, Lydia. sending in this awesome email. We have a really active 15-month-old and he started walking. To be accurate, he doesn't even walk. He runs and he wants to go every fucking where and he is really social kid. So I'd rather buy three leashes 
Really? Than be panicking every time we go outside. I'm afraid of cars crushing him, strangers taking him away. And if he looks if he looks like a dog, it's okay for me because I love dogs. Oh. And I think that's fair play but from why Lydia. three le- leashes? And she said, if I would rather buy three leashes than, as in like, I'd have him on three leashes rather than not have him on a leash and him run away. But that, that scares just being me exa- now. Exa- she's just exaggerating, babe. Since, since Rocket, yeah. then I put him on that leash that one time at the beach. I literally put him on. He went running. I pulled him back. He went flying backwards. <laughs> Honestly, after that, I was like, never again. Can't. I can't. You just got to trust yourself and not. That's now you know not to do that. So this is a learning curve, isn't I it? I know, but I'm used to pulling Rue back, and he's quite sturdy because he's got four limbs. Yeah. Where Rocket's only got two, and he's he only got two limbs. Does he? Only, yeah. Does he have no arms? No, he's two. Like he's standing on two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Talking First of, day of period, Barney, shut comments, up. we've had a few Karens Ooh. in the comments recently. Good old Karen. We love a Karen. Karen's in the comments. I, I love one. I saw one the other day on Barney's YouTube and it was a- Wait, we have a joint YouTube. What are you talking about? We do have a joint one, but it was actually when you posted a short from I your- I posted a before short. Before we even had a YouTube channel together. Ooh, and it's on an old video. Yeah, it was us at the farm in Texel, which is one of the Dutch islands. And he'd put all this time into waking up in the morning, filming the animals. They were making all these noises. It's a really funny video, actually. You know what I'll do? I'll post that video on our um, Shush Don't Tell Mum Instagram so you can see the video. And somebody writes in a comment underneath being like, you put all that work in for six likes. <laughs> so savage. Yes, and we I'm did. To myself, and we'll do it again. You know what? All right. Yeah, that is the game of content creators. We love creating content. We made content even before, like people don't even remember, but I had a series called DJ to Diapers. That's, you did. Uh, and then before then we were filming, if we had to go right back, we could pull in all the footage we did when we were doing up the house, which we never released. We just never got to release it because we never had time to freaking release it. And now we are. So yeah, that's a Karen and a comment, but we did have another one on TikTok and it's about my face. Okay. <laughs> People have started. On, Jamie. We put one up of um, the one on your page recently. Uh huh. And it was Steve. It was the Steve one. Keep going. Standing there. We're, we're talking. You've got to talk into the microphone, babe. Yeah, there's three of us. <laughs> and then we pull away, and the dog's in the middle. Steve. Yeah. Yeah. It's and that, what did they that say? TikTok on Go it. on, what did they say? And they were like, who's the girl? Is she a new girlfriend? <laughs> like, People don't recognize you on my TikTok anymore. I don't recognize. And what I'm really that? confused about it. I'm just like, what? What's her? And then somebody said the same thing on, on about a new YouTube video. Obviously, okay, so when I wake up in the mornings, my lips swell. I don't know why they swell, but early in the mornings, my lips swell. Anyway. Because of this situation, I've spoken to my doctor, my aesthetics. Now, I haven't had fillers in three years before Rocket was even born. So on Tuesday next week, I'm getting my lips removed. Yeah, I'm getting them removed. And um, what? You're getting your lips removed? I'm, I'm going to turn it into a YouTube video. Oh, my goody So God. I'm actually going to take what? you guys for the trip because I'm sick of seeing these Karens in the comments saying, well, what's wrong with her face? I'm sick of these Karens. <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to find the Texel video because I was going to try and prove him wrong. Cause he's like, you made all this effort for seven likes. I'm like, actually it got about 300,000 views on TikTok. So no, but that's, but that was, yeah, but that was TikTok. I'm talking about YouTube. I know, but you know, I just wanted to get my own back, Oh. which obviously isn't going to happen. Okay. Okay. Anyway, you did write it about a year and a half ago. I've seen something so, so good. It has to be fattening online. Okay. Right. What? This is amazing. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're going to do a test. And you're going to use your phone. Now, I must pref- preface this with the fact that I have stolen this from another podcast or this, this idea has been used on another podcast and I found it hilarious. And I oh thought God. we have to do this. Do I have right? to get my phone? Yes. There is a film called The Town with Ben Affleck. Great film. Okay. Oh it's a really good film. And it's, um, it's about a bunch of thieves, right? And they're all best buddies, right? So... The point of this, I'm going to I'm gonna name the podcast because it's called The Morning Shift. The Morning Shift podcast. Shout out to you guys. You guys are hilarious. And I see your clips on my For You page on TikTok all the time. They're great. So in this movie, right, Ben Affleck goes up to Jeremy Renner, who plays Hawkeye in um, The Avengers. And he says, okay, I need your help. Now, you're not allowed to ask me. You're not, sorry, I need your help. You're not allowed to speak to me. I'm already lost. You know? <laughs> 
It's too complicated says, hold for on, my baby hold brain. On. I need your help. I need your help. You can't. You can't. Me- shush. I need your help. You can't mention this after we've done this, and you can never t- speak to me about why we've done this. But we need to go and hurt some people. Lord. And then you have to see how your friend responds. And if they are on your side, then they are a best friend. If they're like, yeah, say less, let's do it. Right, so you have to choose someone in your phone book right now who you could call and say that to, and then they'll be with you. And that is your best friend. So you've got to pick someone who you think would ride or die. Because this is literally a ride or die question. Well, if I picked Tyler, she'd just be like, is this for the podcast? <laughs> she would be. You've got to try. They know and me gotta, so well. This is the problem. You've got to be really serious on okay, the phone. Okay, so what do I so have to say? So what do you say? Okay, so yeah, I need your help. I need your help. You're like, Tyler, shut up. I need your help. I need okay? your help. You can't, you can't ask me why. Ask me why. And we can never talk about and this ever again. we can never talk about this ever again, but we but need, we to, need go. to hurt some people. We need to hurt some people. Okay. Would it be, would Tyler be your first option if you were to call, like, because that kind of phone call, I don't know if I'd call certain best friends or another best friend. So you have to decide one person who's going to ride or die with you and then we can celebrate. So it might not necessarily be Tyler. But because she won't answer. You know what Tyler's like. This is the problem. I don't think I'm going to call Jazz because he's not going to answer the phone. So I have to call someone who's going to answer and we have to uh, say, uh, do you want me to go first? Uh, you're going to have to do it as well. So would you rather go first or second? I seconds? don't want to go first. Oh, I'll go first. Screw it. Okay. I'm the one that came up with it. Well, I didn't come up with it. Shout you out to you first. guys. That great right, pause. Go. Let's do this. Let's hope he answers. <laughs> He's not going to answer. Flop. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Um, look, I, I need your help. All right. Um, you can't ask me about this ever again after, all right? And you can't ask me why, but we've we've got to go hurt some people. Okay. You are you right? Are you down? Yeah. Who's call we take in? Yeah, my boy! That's what I'm talking about! That is what I'm talking about! He's on the podcast! (laughs) (laughs) Let's go! That is how you do it. Why are you not celebrating, by the way? Because I'm I'm texting Tyler. Straight off the bat. I'm texting Tyler. Straight off the bat. I'm calling you and you're going to be on the podcast. What? I'm I'm telling her she's going to be on the podcast. No, because then she'll notice a bit, you plonker. Oh, my days. You just ruined it. Okay, well, who can I call then? My mother. Oh my days. I mean, you could if you want to. You've got to call someone though. Quick sticks. Okay, okay. Right, ready? Okay. Who are you going to call? Mum, I need some help. We need to hurt some people. You're really going to yeah. call your mum about this? I'm going to call my mum. <laughs> I mean, people say their mums are their best friend. Fair enough. Serious. I am serious. Hi. Hi, mum. Um, I just need some help um, for a second, okay? Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Something's happened and me and you have to go and hurt some people. Are you with me? What? Yeah, we need to hurt some people. Are you with me? No, I'm not going to hurt anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you just got dicked on by your own mum. <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck off. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Obviously, I'm really close to my parents, as you yeah. can tell. <laughs> We've had mom and oh dad on the podcast today. No, I'm not gonna hurt anyone. <laughs> oh my god! Chris, Chris, Chris is a savage. Gina. She's gonna call you back, isn't can she? Can I call Tyler and see if she'll do it? Because I'll actually go. Okay, go for it. Go on. Yeah, yeah. You get one more chance, and then you lose. Hey. My friends are better than you. Better than yours. Come on, Tyler. Come on. Got this, Tyler. Ty, are you there? I need some help. I really need some help. Need help with? Okay. Basically, um, I've got myself into a situation and we need to go and hurt some people. Are you with me? <laughs> you are not in a situation, What did I say? What did she say <laughs> that? You with it, Jay, you bailed. Fuck you! Yeah! You bailed after five she seconds. She knows I never get myself into a situation. I'm a wimp, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we need to go hurt some she's people. She's like, no, you don't. <laughs> she's like, no, I said, Tyler's going to look literally laugh in my face and be like, you're a fucking idiot. But she would be with me in prison alongside me. I'm sure she would. Yeah, I'm sure we've been close. <laughs> Not a few times. Okay, I'll tell you actually a story about this. Okay, T, I'll call you back. I love you. Love you, T. Bye. Bye. Um, I was held up at gunpoint once in oh, LA. Nah, bah, 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 bah. I was. Rewind. You were not held up at gunpoint. I was. No, what happened basically. really? Basically, what I was really? in a nightclub in LA and I saw a guy wearing a baseball cap. Now, I didn't know this was the rules over there, but you just can't like take someone's baseball cap yeah, and wear I, it like, yourself. Can I preface this with, I hate girls that do this. Please continue. And I ran, <laughs> ran up to him. Bearing in mind, guys, I'm 22 years old. Run up to this guy and I'm like, oh my God, you're wearing like a word that my friend's brand is. So I grabbed his hat, put it on, started taking selfies. And he just looked really stern. And then I just handed his hat back. At that point in time, he he got even more angry and said to my friend, he was about to take me outside and shoot me in the head. So my friend had to like, you know, talk him down a little bit, calm him down because apparently he was going to go and shoot me. So I have been in those situations. I haven't been in prison, but I was nearly shot in the head because I stole us. And I just thought to myself, what an asshole. Like, I've just stolen your hat. There's a lot worse th people in the world that you could go and shoot, you know? You're going to shoot the, the poor blonde in, in the nightclub at the age of 21 because she stole your baseball cap. Come on now. Who see. says you exaggerate? Whoever says you exaggerate I'm are just silly. You. That is not exaggerating. We'll get her on the pod and I'll get her to talk about it. Yeah, we can. We can get her on the pod and get her to talk about it because you fell shit. Right. Oh. Anyway, um, this has been a really fun game. <laughs> Loved it today. We, were, we went. We went to. We are in the very fortunate position, I would say, in in some regards during the you know due to our TikToks or Instagrams or YouTube or podcast or whatever. That sometimes we get invited to events. What are you looking at? Something that's on my neck. You were mm. looking at something on my neck. Okay. okay. I got a hair no. a straggler. No. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we get invited to events sometimes. We got invited to a very nice event from Pampers. <gasps> Pampers. A company that I work with quite a bit, and so do you, mm -hmm. on, on social media because of Rocket, of course. Rocket's the real legend in this whole scenario. But at this Pampers event, mm -hmm. we were standing by the side. Oh, we were watching this sake. lady do like this really cool demonstration of how Pampers nappies absorb liquid. This is how it absorbs liquid. This is how fast it does. This is why it does. Really technical events. And we were really excited to be there because it was like, you know, just learning about everything, everything Pampers. Uh, and learning about the tech that goes into it. It's mad. They test a million nappies a year. Just test to make sure they have the right product, which I think is pretty cool. Mm. So we're stood in the audience of about this 25 people. on Jamie Day, by the way, if yeah, you guys haven't. <laughs> so we're sat, stood in the audience, 25 people-ish. And she goes, does anyone have any questions? And Jamie's hand goes up. Now, I don't know what it Nobody is. Nobody else's hand loves, goes on. Jamie loves asking questions at these events. And I admire it as well. But the question that Jamie decided to answer was this particular nappy, are you going to make it in a pull-up version, like a nappy pants rather than a, a because, fastening? Can I just oh, say God. why though? Because Hold our toddler on. is like, he. this is how we change his nappy now. <laughs> Whoa, literally, the chair. The what whole happened? time. And I'm literally like, you can't do the the normal nappies now. You need the pull-ups because I can't get them on. And because his legs are all over the place, he's upside down, the shit's on my face. It's like, it's everywhere. <laughs> right, honestly, there's okay, some on the wall. Okay, we're back in the room. Yeah. Right, so Jamie puts her hand up and goes, are you going to make these nappies in a pull-up version? And she goes, we already do. And she looks really like yeah, sternly. The room goes silent and she's like, we already do. And then no one said anything. And I leaned into Jamie and I said, hey, babe, we got paid to make a piece of content about that nappy with the pull-up version <laughs> you were like well i didn't know and you got in a bit of a half but well because it's ugh, learning curve it's a learning curve and then what else did i say i said another curve. thing and then you were you and then and then you said i said something else as well that embarrassed you you don't embarrass me babe i, did I love you for who I you said are something else and then you got embarrassed well in the pampers thing yeah what else did you say? I don't know. Uh, there so was another did, did, thing. This is not good for podcasts. If you bring something up and then you well, say you don't know. Because you're the one that remembers things. I'm the one with Me? the baby really? brain. I'm the one that remembers things? And also you're the one that even though it's pick on Jamie Day, you're the one that chipped our child's tooth. Okay, I I'm <gasps> leaving. Oh my God. I actually didn't. He had a zoomy moment, smashed his face on the side of a thing. And now I'm going to, I'm going to fight you to death. Anyway, let's do a, uh, let's do. <laughs> Let's do a shush don't tell mum moment. So 
when we were on a bus at Port Limb. <laughs> she wasn't there. I was already there. Yeah, but actually, what was two. my expression? What was Gutted. my expression when you arrived? When when you arrived, you were fine. And I said, look, he's chipped a tooth. And obviously, panic. <gasps> oh my God, what? And I was like, look, this is what happened. And you were like, oh. But well, we can't look at, we can't watch him 100% of the time. Or like, you can't prevent it. All of, uh, you know what was lucky for me was all of our mates were around and they all backed me and they were like, none of us saw it coming. He literally just threw himself to the right and it's, just bang. It, goes, it honestly goes to the family. I feel like it's a Jackman thing. That's my surname because all of us have lost our two front teeth. Two front teeth. You lost your two front teeth. What's that song? The two front teeth song? All I want for Christmas is my, my two, two front, front teeth. teeth. And Santa's coming. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming <laughs> on the pod. Please share it with somebody that you love. You can share yes. it. You know what Matt and Abby do? They say share it with a grandma. Love that. Oh. Share it with your grandma. Why are we copying people? I don't know. But we love that. <laughs> share it with your friends and be fabulous. Yeah? Remember to be fabulous. Okay. You fabulous? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling fabulous. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, you good? On all I like your social Gilles, media. By the way, by the way doesn't, doesn't Jamie today look like she's just come straight off an episode of Top Boy? Of I literally, it's like, you're going to get her food, bruv. You're going to get her food, go down ends. And then, and then I'm, I've run out. You're insulting Because I'm from now. Surrey, so yeah. I don't know any of that. Okay, all right. Let's, let's, let's end it there. Yeah? yeah. Okay, love you. I'm literally whiter than the Shh, Milky Bar. Don't tell mum. Just don't tell mum. Don't tell dad. Don't tell dad. Okay, are you going to slap my hand or what? That was awful. Get out. I'm going to tell, tell us just don't tell mum. Okay, another one. I haven't done one yet. Oh, dear. Right. Well, in a fit of panic when I was sat with Rocket uh, on that beloved truck that chipped his tooth, he smashed his face, chipped his tooth. Everyone was all carnage. And the one thing that went through my mind at the time was if I can salvage this tooth, maybe they can glue it back. And then when I picked him up and he looked at me and he went, and when he went, a bit of tooth fell out and I actually caught it. And I went, nah, fuck it. <laughs> and I just wanted to look after him rather than worry about where this piece of tooth was going and where I was going to put it. So unfortunately, Rocket now has a permanently chipped tooth until that tooth falls out. Anyway, shh, don't tell mum. See you next week. Shh, don't tell mum. <laughs>